So today we're going to be showcasing the much loved candy in Dragon Ball Z, Candy Vegito. He has gotten an awakening in the 2019 Halloween special and his awakening has made him such an amazing card. So let's get into the details of the card and I'm going to be showcasing him in a variety of ways in today's video. So he is a super tech unit for 8,474 HP, 11,069 attack and 7,938 defense. Attack stat is really good. HP stat I wish was a little bit higher. Um, in terms of attack and defense, those stats don't really matter too much as because his super attack mechanic here allows him to raise those two stats at an infinite rate. So as the battle goes on uh, for those longer events, his attack and defense stat really just goes out of the roof here. He also has a second ability with his super attack mechanic, medium chance to stun the enemy, which can come in handy. Of course, he does supreme damage to the enemy because we're never going to get an immense damage multiplier for free to play at this point. His leader skill is also a nuking kind of leader for attack and defense plus 10% per key sphere obtained. He still definitely takes the crown for the best nuke leader that free to play has to offer, excluding redstone units and all that shenanigans. So um, at least he's still got that on his side. Level 120 for being a Tiwa. His passive skill allows him to have a great chance to dodge attacks, including super attacks. It used to be a high chance. So good improvement there. Attack and defense plus 10% per tech sphere key obtained. And if it's a non-attack key sphere, he gains only 10% defense. So no matter what, you're still getting a defense that increase with orbs collected. So that's really good. Makes him um, just defensively good in any situation as long as you can grab those orbs. Of course, linking him up with an orb changer unit would be really nice for him for attack and defense. He also recovers with HP with candy, which at this point isn't really that great. Um, you only can use it in the boo fights. For the hidden potential system, if you've seen my previous Candy Vegito showcase long ago, I've done a complete 180. I used to give him a max dodge, but now we've gotten max additional and then 11 critical here. No dodges, since I think great chance to dodge is good enough. Um, even though I have found sometimes that he doesn't dodge for quite a bit in a row. I think um, just because he raises his attack and defense, it's solid already. And then at a certain point, you don't really need the dodges. For the link skills, we have more than meets the eye. Shocking speed over in a flash, power bestowed by God, in fighter, supreme power, and shattering the limit. With two categories here, Margin Buu Saga and Patara. So we're going to be showcasing him in three different ways. We're going to uh, use a nuke test on him. We're going to be doing the legendary Goku event. And then we're going to do the Buu Doken event since he has supreme power, which allows him to do extra damage. So we can just see how, it, with the right amount of orbs, like how well he actually does. So let's jump into the showcases. Okay, so we have this nuking team right here. Candy Vegeta is still going to be the best leader. We also have the Takuyaki balls or whatever they're called with a bunch of supports and a bunch of orb changes in here with the attack supports as well. So let's just jump into the stage and see what we can get here. Okay, not the best, but we can give it a shot here. Now, the reason why it's not the best is because we actually don't have any supports in here. Um, but we do have orb changes in here, so that's going to help us out with um, getting a guaranteed, you know, field of green orbs at the very least. So let's um, go like this. Hopefully the balls change everything to green here. No. Okay, so failed test number one. We're still going to keep going. All right, and we'll target... I guess this is the best way to do it. I don't know how many orbs that was. 26 orbs or something like that? Something ridiculous like that. We have 1,997,000 attacks that... All right, let's see how well this does. Maybe we can beat the record for free-to-play. 5.75 million. Okay, that is not nowhere near the amount that um, Spirit Bomb Goku would have gotten. But 11 million damage for a nuke. Really good there. I'll give it another shot. See if we can get more orbs, of course. Because um, it's not perfect unless we get a full, you know, set of green orbs. And of course we have him in the last rotation. Are you serious? In the... Ah, <sighs> way. I never am able to do a nuke showcase without the actual unit that we want to showcase in the very last spot. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, this is the team right here. Okay, this is decent. We have an orb changer that changes AGLs to tech orbs. We also have a support unit that provides a good link. Vegito here, I believe, not only provides a 30% attack boost for our units, but also... I wish we could super attack with him. Um, actually, he doesn't share any links with Candy Vegito. That's an actual surprise. I thought he did. But at least he provides 30% attack at the very least. So, um, I guess I put Candy Vegito in the middle here. Maybe we can get a lucky additional super attack with base Vegito. 
And um, let's get to orb change. Hopefully it changes everything to green this time. Good start. There's only one set of colored orbs that we need to change here. Please allow that to happen. Yes, okay. So we have a full orb. We have a 30% attack support. Hopefully he's additional supers to raise allies attack by an extra 20%. So let's grab all these greens. We're already at 1.4 million attacks. Already a insane increase from last time. Let's use our items here. I don't think there's actual matter if we use the items after or before. But I think we can get to that 2 million attack stat off the bat right here. Oh, so close. Okay. We can if we get an additional super attack. But that's involving a lot of luck. We got the critical. Ah, no. But 10 million attack stat for a little chocolate ball. I'm pretty impressed. And with a 20 million damage, he also got the stun. Which I guess is a cool part. Now we're going to go to the Supreme Power event. See how much ridiculous damage we can do over there. Alright, so let's get into the event advantage part of the showcase. Now, is this necessary? Absolutely not. But is it fun? Yes. So, um, what Supreme Power does, I don't know how much damage multiplier you get. But you get an insane amount. I think we can actually get more, depending on our orbs, uh, damage at the very least, than our nuke test. So, we'll see how it goes. Let's go and grab these. It's only three orbs. Of course, this guy's... We don't have the Supreme Power link activated just yet. We need um, Great Saiyan in the rotation. Double dodge. That's pretty nice. I only brought the nuking items just in case that I want to increase our attack. Because why not, right? This is not too serious of a part here. The next part will be a little bit serious uh, when it comes to showcasing the unit. Probably take a super attack here. Oh, no. I didn't. I thought we would. And, um, yeah, we're going to obliterate this stage right here after this super attack. No way who survives this. Yeah, 2.7 million. All right. Onwards we go. All right, we're going to do this. And, yeah, we'll save all the greens for the next turn. Because, obviously, I still want to grab as many green orbs just to showcase the damage. Because this is technically counts as a normal event as well. So, when we don't have Supreme Power activated... We are running under 170% leader, which is great, and that 100% leader. So, in terms of a showcase, this is probably the best you'll get. I mean, we do have double supports here as well. So, that makes it even better. 158,000 attack stats, 64,000 defense. As you can see, the growth isn't that great just yet. But, um, give it a few turns and uh, it will be really good. Because we're only activating Shattering Limit as well. And he's got... He has not taken one hit as of yet. Just wants to flex that out. And the damage, 520,000. We get an additional super attack. Raising our attacks, that's 714,000. And 543,000 damage as well. Alright. Now on to Kid Buu. Which super attacks every single time. No big deal. Yeah, screw it. Let's just take all the damage with Vegito. Uh, let's see how well Vegito can take all these. Now, in a perfect world, I would probably want to get the uh, super attack here. We can do Vegito. Because obviously, next turn is type disadvantage. So, this is actually the only part where we have type neutral now. That we can actually supreme power. We don't have that many good supreme power units in the team. Um, that support the unit as well. Yeah, okay. So, we're going to just go into type disadvantage. Hopefully, we get the critical though. This is a really good rotation, however. I am going to use... Oh, I only have one Takayaki Ball. Okay. If I can get the 18 key super... That would make a real big difference, but I don't think I can. Unless I do this... I only need 7 orbs. Nah, at this point, I, I don't want to risk it. So, I'm just going to use the Takayaki... Grab what's remaining. Okay, perfect. And... Ooh, even... I, I even think that Great Saiyan will actually do a lot of damage here. <laughs> not even kidding. So, I'm not even going to super attack with him. Hopefully that spawns more green orbs. No. Alright. Let's go and grab all of these, I guess. That is 14 orbs, I think. Let's increase our attack stat. Because why not? 
This is almost as good as a nuke. I can't wait to show you guys this damage output. That's if you, even if we get, like, if we get the critical, it would be even way better. Let's just hope we don't get an addition. Like, look at this normal attack. 344,000. We got 2.3 million attack stat. Hopefully we get this crit. Please crit. No, we didn't crit, but we got 4.7 million damage, okay? Um, it would have been definitely more if we versus Kid Buu, for sure. But um, other than that, we're going to move into the serious part, which is the Legendary Goku event. I will just show you the final phase. There's no point in showing you the build-up in attack and defense, so uh, yeah. Okay, so we are on to the Super Saiyan Blue Goku of the Legendary Goku event. Um, the perfect rotation for this team right here. I'm actually running a Majin Buu Saga team. Um, only because it allowed me to survive a little bit longer than a Patara team. Uh, Vegito only provides, as a friend, 130% attack boost, which I didn't really worry about since we're always gaining our attack. Now, without orbs, our Candy Vegito, after all these phases, got to 200,000 attacks at 129,000 defense. Um, we have Gotenks in here, which changes AGL orbs to tech orbs. So that's really good, helping us to get more key orbs, because that's what he relies on to increase his attack and defense. Um, and then we also have the uh, Vegito here, just to increase the uh, allies' attack by 30%, which is really nice. Um, other than that, uh, there's nothing really affecting this uh, team here. And I think it's better if we link... Yeah, it's no attack differences, but uh, this is the last one that we can do here. One, two, three, four... So we get five... Nine re green orbs there. One, two, three... Four, five, nine. Okay, so uh, these two are exactly the same. I wish it went on the left route, but... Um, so we get nine green orbs here with one rainbow. So it's 100% defense and 90% attack right here. Getting up all, all that HP. Uh, and it just appears that there's going to be more green orbs right there. So I'm just going to grab it for go tanks here. So after all those orbs, we got 530,000 attack stat and then 258,000 defense. Now... I'm on blue. If you use a team that takes a really long time to get to into the MUI Goku phase, then I can see Candy Vegito being really good. Remember, MUI Goku disables dodge, so you need his defense to be pretty high up there, like maybe 400,000 before he gets there. One million attacks to, for all this time right here. And we get 552,000 damage. Can we get a crit? Because I have no more chances. I actually have no more items as well. 560,000. Are we going to uh, take this super attack? No, we are going to dodge it. And we dodge that. So yeah, at this point, you tank for double digit damage. It's just that whether or not you think you can build up the attack and defense to a reasonable amount to tank a super attack from MUI Goku to see if you can take for double digit damage. For me personally, I think I could just make it, but you need to rely on those orbs for sure. So... Um, that's actually going to wrap up the uh, triple showcase that I have done here. Uh, we did a event advantage. We did um, the nuke test. So, and of course, the legendary Goku event. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. I think it's pretty nice that we can showcase a unit three different ways. So, I'm going to leave in the top right poll if you guys think this Candy Vegito is sweet or if he's bit ass. But anyway, as always, guys, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Stay busy. Peace out.